Hello ghouls and dolls, it's Carly, and today we are going to take an international trip all the way over to Scaris, just so we can take a look at this cafe cart. This is what the set looks like once you take it out of the box, but there is a tiny bit of assembly that needs to be done, mostly with these little lanterns here, that bat, and just piecing together the wrought iron bench. I do have the lovely Frankie Stein and Claudine Wolf helping me today. They are just showing you guys that these dolls actually can sit in these seats. Like always, this Monster High playset is masterfully detailed. I seriously cannot wait to show you guys all the fun little bits and bobs of this thing. Like this thing is super, super cool. So let's go ahead and start looking at all of the small detachable accessories, which are personally my favorite. The stuff that you see here on the counter is actually what I had on the wrought iron table. So let's go ahead and start with that first. Right here is actually a bottle of water and it's pretty standard in most European countries to get a bottle of water instead of like a glass or a pitcher. But this has the Eiffel Tower on it, which is super cool. But to creep it up, they added this kind of gooey, goopy ooze design. And then right next to that is a water goblet with the same design. And then over here we have a little flower vase. And with the vase there is a skullette, of course. There is a bat wing right there. And there's a whole bunch of spider webs, which is going to be a common thing as you'll see. Um, also the flowers are this kind of neon yellow kind of color. And they have that creepy, creepy, ucky ooze as well. So that's what I had on the table. Let's go ahead and move on to the confectionaries behind them. I went ahead and took everything out of their little display areas just to make this a little bit easier. But right here we have some coffin chino and it actually has a face in the foam. That is so cool. Like it totally tickles me that they decided to put so much detail in something so small. And then the handle is supposed to be kind of a spider web looking thing. Um, next up, I'm just gonna take this little, I don't know what this is, some kind of, some kind of baked good, but it looks like a bat, I can tell you that for sure. It's got bat wings, it's got these glowing, evil little eyes, and just raggedy edges, and all of the baked confections actually have the same plate, which is this black one with the spider web on it. Moving on from there, let's go ahead and take a look at this little thing. This, I guess, is a little personal cake. It is a bright yellow color with this goopy, oozy, creepy stuff and a spider on top. And then over here is a full cake, which is intended to be shared since it's all cut up. But my philosophy is any cake can be a personal cake if you believe in yourself. So this probably shared, but sometimes could be personal cake. It has a kind of pink top and gooey designs on the bottom. And that is about it. Let's take a look at the coffin chino maker from far away. It looks pretty normal. You've got, you know, your ground holders, your temperature gauge, all the buttons, you know, the standard machine itself. But when you look at it up close, the actual grounds holders have spiderweb designs on them. And spiderwebs show up everywhere, on the sides, on the back, along with the skelet. Up top, there are spiderwebs everywhere. And then, speaking of more spiderwebs, let's move along to the pastry holder. So spiderwebs, more spiderwebs, more spiderwebs. But this is what I use to display all of the cakes. It does go back pretty far. So make sure not to get anything jammed back there because that would bite. So that is all of the loose accessories. Let's go ahead and move on to the big stuff like the cart. Since the cart has so much detail on it, I'm actually gonna do it in segments. So let's start out with the bottom. Let's check out these wheels first. I mean, look at these sick rams. They've got a spider in the middle of them and this thing actually does roll really, really well. So moving on from there, we actually have the body of the cart. We have a skelet on the bottom, of course. And there is a whole bunch of black detailing and filigree with a ton of spider webs surrounding the bit of the purple part, which also has some more filigree and some more spider webs. But the little label says cafe and it has a little Eiffel Tower on it. And then if you actually look front on at the cart um, counter itself, it has a little fleur de lis right there and some more of the filigree and some more of the spider web. So let's go ahead and look up top. 
and see what this thing has to offer. And this is the top. So you have the counter space up here. You actually have a little handle to cart this thing around. You have two little menus, both of which don't actually have anything written on them. And then up top here, we have this ooey gooey detailing like on the water bottles and everything else. And there's a little bat. I am going to name him Bruce. And then we also have some more detailing on the top with some more filigree and some more, you guessed it, spider webs. Let's also take a look at the sides here. There is the same detailing up here as there is down here. And along the back of the cart, there's actually two shelves with um, the filigree being the same as on the front. But the cool thing about these shelves is that you can actually fit the coffin chino maker, the pastry holder, like all of your little bits and bobs. You can put them all in here and not have to worry about losing them whenever you decide to not use this little set anymore. So it just fits everything. And I think that is really, really awesome. Next up, we have the table and chair duo that you saw Frankie sitting on. What you didn't see was that the seat of this is actually a skelet, which is super cool. And there's also a skelet on the back of the chair too. This is really similar to the cart in the sense that it has the same filigree and all of the spiderweb detailing. But up top here, there's actually a little heart, which is super nifty. So that is the chair. Let's go ahead and take a look at the table. This is purple and very, very, very much spiderweb themed. You got the spiderweb at the tabletop, spiderwebs all around the edge of the table, on the legs, on the stand for the umbrella, on the actual umbrella itself. So you've got some more spiderwebs and some of that ooey gooey texture going on too. These little things up here are actually little skelet lanterns that you clip on. And that is the table and chair set. Lastly, we have the wrought iron bench, spelled R-O-T. And it's pretty similar to the chair and table duo that we just saw. It's got the same kind of design, except this one is blue. It's got a skelet here at the back. There is nothing really new here, but it's still really cool nonetheless. And if you are really ambitious, this could probably fit three dolls. Like I said, really ambitious. You might have to stack somebody on top of another, but this is a decent sized bench. And this is one of the things that had to be assembled. You can see in the back, there's little snaps that snap it back on. All right, so that is it. And there you have it. That is the Monster High Scares Cafe cart. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Now you can watch another one of my Monster High videos or one of my other friends' videos. Our pictures are always in the corner like these four examples.